guys, welcome back uh, to our amazing Stalkerless Invisible Stalker deck. Uh, we're going to play first, obviously. And this hand looks not that great, but I guess we can play Midnight Haunting on turn three if we draw land. If we're lucky. Yeah. Hopefully a blue land. I don't know. I'm I'm very much averse to mulliganing in this format. Um, so I, I think this hand is very borderline. But, I don't know, if we draw like a couple lands, it, it, it'll be fine, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I feel like keeping it. What do you think? Well, we're playing 17 lands, so we basically have a 47% like a chance to draw land on each of our draw steps. Yeah. So, we don't have to be that lucky to get one more land. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess we'll keep it then. And, like, unless his deck is also, like, really aggressive, like, even if we miss on turn three and, like, hit on turn four, it won't be, like, the worst. He's got all our stalker business. Oh. I just have a feeling. Oh. All right, maybe I'm completely Oh. Wrong. Oh, he's playing my favorite deck. There, we even drew the land. How lucky. Yeah, sometimes you just get there. <laughs> Good news, everyone. We're not playing against a fast deck. <laughs> oh, I'm Maybe a captain. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're just showing off. Yeah. All right. So, I guess we bluff the dissipate and play uh, an eternal midnight haunting. Sounds like a good choice. No attacks. I uh, wonder if that was intentional. <laughs> Maybe he was afraid of our bell ringer. Oh yeah, so scary. Maybe he's playing around midnight haunting. Ooh, he was Ooh. totally blocked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to bring out the juggernaut. Oh. Okay, what is he milling here? Yeah, some more relevant cards. As long as none of those cards are like spider spawning or like gnaw the bone or anything that's really like any relevant flashback cards, like he can mill himself all he likes. For sure, this guy's got the splinter frame. Yeah. Yeah, armored scab is a is a decent one. It's not that good against juggernaut. No, that's true. <laughs> or flyers. Oh, well, there's memory's journey. All right, maybe he has assembled the combo. Oh. We did see. Uh, whatever that other card's called, which I cannot remember now for some reason. All right. Well, let's just get in there. Runic repetition. Look at that luxury. He didn't even have to click the Juggernaut. <laughs> I'm assuming he's just going to take five from the Juggernaut. No. Oh, All right. Okay, well, apparently he... Oh, I guess his strategy is putting creatures in the graveyard. That's true. But maybe you just, like, not block it and take five. And just continue on. I don't know. All right. Let's play our flyer and ship the turn. Okay, we can stop drawing lands any time now. <laughs> well, if we just... I don't think we need to play any more lands than this, so you just hold on to them and we'll draw a civilized. Yeah, yeah. We also have, like, Murder of Crows that we could draw. Yeah, exactly. Alright, what do you got here? Oh, spider spawning! That's a good one. Pretty much stops us from attacking. Well, it doesn't stop Juggernaut from attacking. That's true. It's, you don't really have a choice. Uh, we could attack Moon Heron in Moment of Heroism, but I, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, you're throwing away the Moment Heroism for, you know... Yeah, exactly. A, what's that, two-fifths of this card? Alright, well, let's just get in there with uh, with our Juggernaut. <laughs> two-fifths of one half of this card, yeah. <laughs> Well, 
Now we know why he chump blocked with the Hamlet captain. Yep. Alright, well, now I feel like we can play a land. And uh, maybe one day we'll get to get some damage through. One day. One of these days. Land pow, straight to the moon. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Ooh. Good thing we have all the that cost for Yeah, exactly. It's actually uh, one of the better rares that you can get for this archetype. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, you can do a lot of damage with that guy. Oh, but oh, I speak, speak of the devil. But I want to play claustrophobia. <laughs> yeah, I think you have. To yeah, we d we have to play claustrophobia. So here we just attack with Juggernaut. If he's foolish enough to block with his cage breakers, then I will then dance you know. for joy. Exactly. All right, now he's taking five. And bam. Get you. Hopefully. This blows us out with the main deck naturalize. Yeah. Bell Ringer would be a decent draw. Wow, Aldo Loris 2? Well, got... uh, yeah, that's not good for us. Yeah, that means he's. Uh... Gonna get our get to eat our juggernaut because that's gonna pump for like plus seven plus seven. That's pretty good. Yeah. A he's, he's attacking. What? Oh yeah, yeah. He has derp. He has elder laurels. And the only way he'll get to eat our juggernaut is if he somehow untap it. Um. Yeah, I think. Before yeah, I think I'm just gonna block with a spirit token here and get to untap my juggernaut. Yeah, I don't see why not. I don't yeah. want, know why he did that before block. Yeah, that seems that seems poor poor choice for him. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but all right, we get to save ourselves some damage. Oh. <laughs> There's that cloister dude. On time. All right, let's play Murder of Crows. Now the question is here: Do you play the uh, the land um, to leave a moment of heroism? Because closer to is basically a cycle right now, anyways. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Like there, there's there's no way he blocks with enough creatures to to kill Galvanic Juggernaut. Well, if he does, then he's blocked with Elder of Laurels, and exactly. he'd accept that trade regardless. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I don't see any reason to. All right, let's just get in there with the the Juggernaut. I guess there could be something to be said to just try to pressure him. Uh, attack. Yeah. But if he does hit his next land drop, he can pump twice. That that seems really bad for us. Like we might just play Cloistered Youth as a jump blocker. Yeah, that's well, that's fair. So if he was smart, he would attack with two spider tokens and just pump the one that, like, gets through. If he was smart, he would just all in the spider tokens. There's no reason not to here. He's got enough mana to flash it back. He doesn't even need to pump. He just needs to attack and flash it yeah, back. Yeah, that's true. Us. Like, he's pretty much got this game locked up as long as he doesn't make any huge mistakes. Like, not attacking there just yeah. makes no sense to me at all. Yeah, that's that seems very strange. And not flashing back spider spine. I don't understand. Well, there's your mad phantasm. It doesn't really do anything, though. No, it does not. Well, attacking the murder crow seems bad. Yes, it does. Um, I guess we just play mirror mad phantasm and pass. Mm, yeah, that seems fine. Like, we're, we're looking to draw into a... Um, uh, we're looking to draw into a uh, feeling of dread. And hopefully we can push through enough damage to kill him. Yeah, with the moment of heroism, I suppose that that is feasible. Yeah. Or spare for me. Oh, it's in the sideboard. Oh yeah, we're not playing. <laughs> oh, he, I mean, he would, still has all the laurels to block with, but yeah, he can't block their flyers. Yeah, exactly. He would just be dead. Quite dead. I think we're probably gonna board board those in. Yeah, with the high power flyers that we have. I yeah, think exactly. A reasonable good idea. 
Especially since we also haven't seen a knot of the bone out of him. That's because we have the knot of the bone. Oh, <laughs> uh, clutch counter draft. Exactly. We, we, we knew that we would play against this deck. Still no attacks. Yeah, still no attacks. What's going on here? And just, you're just not doing anything. Like, what is this last card in this hand? I'm just all sorts of confused. Yeah. So, just play close to you as a chump blocker? Well, he's not attacking. I don't need a chump block. <laughs> not doing anything. I guess it's a cycler. If yeah. Shit happens. Now, see, if he, like, taps out, what we can do is we can keep cycling Miramat Phantasm and, until we find um, Feeling a Dread. Uh, to, to basically tap down all his uh, all his blockers. We can only tap down two blockers in that sense. Well, we tap down four if we play it and flash it back. Well, if you're if you're using Miramad Phantasm to mill yourself, you're only going to be able to flash it back. Well, that's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we have to wait till we draw it then. And it, like any attack here, I guess you could probably throw the spirit at him. Uh, worst case scenario, he takes one damage. Uh, best case scenario, you know, we cycle and draw the card we need. Well, he'll just block and pump. Yeah. If you attack with your spirit token, sure, whatever. Draw a card off Mirror Cross. We need to dig for something that's, that's true. Gonna get us out of here. And if you're going to chip away at his life total, then I see that. You know, well, like, I kind of want to hold it back to block. I don't know. Five, six, seven, eight creatures. Yeah, it kind of it might actually need it. He, you know, he could just be building up his lands just to try yeah. to all in. With everybody. Yeah, well, like, we also have this moment of heroism to gain, like, seven life off of our Mirror Mad Phantasm if we need to. Yeah. So, yeah, I think attacking the Spirit Token, just just try to get him to block and draw a card, yeah, is, isn't the worst. Yeah, I think that, well, we would for sure live, and uh, if he goes all in on Elder of Laurels, yeah. um, we might be able to survive and be able to kill him on the crack bag if we're lucky, so... Opponent apparently upset at our yeah. thinking. <laughs> yeah, we took like a minute to think. <laughs> okay, All right. that's what we want. And like, we get to untap our Juggernaut too, mm -hmm. which... It's not irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh there's a Feeling of Dread. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Alright, so now hopefully he just does nothing again, and... We can punish him for... Alright, so now I think we can play the Cloistered Youth. Like, we don't have to transform it. So, like, we're only going to transform it if we're, we're going to attack that turn. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just leaving up, leave up enough mana to fill in a drain with flashback. Yeah, exactly. Alrighty. So let's hope he just doesn't do anything again here. Oh, think twice. I, I, I would have passed and not done anything too if I had that card. <laughs> So if we tap four spider tokens, he only has one blocker. Yep. Uh, Blocks the Mirror Mad Phantasm and just dies to yeah. onboard damage. So, oh, Dark Thicket Wolf, that'll get us. So basically, if he doesn't flash back his uh, spider spawning this turn, we get him. Yeah, unless that card in his hand is Moon Mist, which very well could be. I mean, <laughs> I, have, I have seen it on more than one occasion that these self-mill decks do play Moon Mist, but uh, I'm not going to play around that card. It's just yeah. not very good. Alright, well, he just, yeah. he just doesn't want to do anything, so... Alright, let's we'll do it. Hopefully punish him here. transform it just for fun? Yeah, no. <laughs> Alright, well let's uh, get in with our flying. And the Juggernaut. I almost didn't click my Mad Phantasm there. <laughs> ah, we don't need him. <laughs> that would have been a pretty big blunder. Let's see, does he have the Moon Mist? Yeah, we won! <laughs> okay, do our opponent's savage misplays. Yeah, with, uh, still awesome. Alright, so our Urgent Exorcism, get in there. Uh, not exorcism. What am I saying? Spare from, Spare from evil. Giddy up. Uh, um, maybe we want to. I don't know. Let's let's take a look here. Is there any cards we want to take out? Um, Cloistered Youth. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the always the go-to. Yeah. Threat. 
Definitely want Dissipate. Well, I don't know. Collector's Truth might not be too bad in this matchup. He didn't show us any, uh, like, Well, he has, like... He uh, will have access to uh, Sensor Devil. He has, like, the 1-4. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't think Collector's Truth is very good here. At least we know that Dissipate will be fine in this matchup. Yeah, yeah Dissipate seems, seems quite good here, actually. Um... Let's see, anything else we want to take out? Yeah, I think we can just take out, bring in the one spare from evil. Yeah, it does give us an out to situations like we were just Yeah, saying. exactly. Alright, well, uh, see you guys in game two.